Hello, 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 and welcome to another video brought to you by the Machamp King. And today we are once again returning with another Radiant Eternatus video, episode 18, with drumroll please, Eternatus VMAX. So uh, with today's video, um, it's a little cheeky because you could be playing Radiant Sneasler, which I know is the normal way of playing this deck, but because we're doing a Radiant Eternatus series, I was needing to pair this with uh, with uh, Eternatus VMAX, which is, was the next on our list. And honestly, I'm pretty excited about this list anyways. So we do play uh, four Crobat, two Moltres Vs, three three line of coughing and Galarian Weezing, which is the neutralizing gas ability. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's Pokemon in play have no abilities. And then we have a Trubbish Garboder line, so once during your turn, if a stadium is in play, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon poisoned. We also have the three Eternatus VMAX Pokemon, so that we can put two of them onto the bench. We have four Dark Patch, uh, three Energy Switch, two Ordinary Rod, four Quick Ball, three Scoop Up Nets, uh, switch, two Switch, uh, three Ultra Ball, three Lost City, two Boss, three Research, an Air Balloon, two Choice Belt, two Hiding Dark, and eight basic darkness energy. Now, the way that this will work is, um, unfortunately, a Tornado's VMAX's Eternal Zone ability will not expand your bench up to eight unless all of your Pokemon in play are dark types. So as soon as we put Radiant Eternatus down, the following turn, we are going to want to use one of our three scoop-up nets to get that back up out of the field and hopefully swing for two for a lot of damage once our bench can be expanded. Now, there is plenty of ways that we can get two energy in the same turn on a Tornadus VMAX, that being using Dire Flame Wings to accelerate one to Galarian Moltres V and using an energy switch, or using Dark Patch Attach, or Dark Patch E Switch Attach, or something like that. Um, we also have switch cards to get um, our Pokemon from the bench to the active if need be. <coughs> we also have Lost Cities in order to stop Path to the Peak and activate Poisonous Puddle. And yeah, I am really, really excited. Now, this deck is in the old quote-unquote standard format because my previous Atreidus video was in the expanded format. So I thought, what's a good way of doing a fresh perspective on the Eternatus VMAX and not just going back to my old deck list, slapping a Radiant Eternatus in there and calling it good. So this is what I came up with. It is a lot, it is very similar, like with the Galarian Weezings and the Galarian Moltres, the Crobats, to old standard videos. But it's my little take on it with Radiant Eternatus trying to see if this is any better. Now, hopefully you guys like this video, and hopefully we can get some good wins with this deck. So, here we go. Let's check it out. Alright, Radiant Eternatus with Eternatus VMAX. We are playing TCGO Share 06. And I would like to go first, thank you very much. Okay, so nothing there. Ah. I mean... Okay. We are playing Mew. However, we do have a scoop-up net. We can Ultra Ball for, like, Crobat. And we can scoop up net the Radiant Eternatus and put it back down for two Radiant Eternatus VMAXs. Um, but then we're going to need another scoop up net. So it's normally I would just secede the game, but because we do actually play scoop up nets and this hand is fairly decent, it's, it's decent. It's okay. It's fine. So yeah, we play Mew, which is fine. Let's Lost City. Let's um, do the boss and a switch. And let's do Crobat 
for three. And we don't get anything. So we're going to have to scoop up the Radiant E-Turn, put down the Radiant E-Turn, and search our deck for two Eternatus V-Maxes. So we're going to have to research away, so I'm glad we at least got a draw support. And we are hitting them for weakness, so this is still a good matchup. Like, I'm, I'm not worried, I'm not worried. We just need we just need one of our other two scoop up nets to expand our bench. Now before I before I research, I am going to switch into the Radiant Eternatus, so that way if I get a scoop up net, I can scoop it up from the active. I'm just really hoping for a way to be able to attack turn two. Okay, so our opponent does get a full bench going, and they do play Meloetta. Now, unfortunately, one of our boss's orders is in the discard, so I believe we only play one more. Um, so we can't just boss up two V maxes and win the game, we are going to have to go through a Meloetta. And this Meloetta potentially could take two prizes right now. It depends on if they get an Elisa Sparkle. Now, one thing I could have added in this deck is a Forced Seal Stone, but um, I'm sure there's one thing I could have ditched in order to play it. Probably maybe an O-Rod or one of the switches or whatnot, but it's not a big deal. Alright, yeah, they are going to look for the Elisa's Sparkle. I think they used both of their Genesex abilities, so I don't think that they're drawing any more turns, any more cards this turn. So if they didn't get the Elisa Sparkle, then they're not doing any damage. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. Well, shoot. So both two out of our three Galarian Weezings are going bye-bye, but that's fine. We did get another scoop-up net. Um... So let's do that. Let's hand attach, scoop up the Radiant E turn. Ultra Ball for, let's get a coughing. And I'm actually going to get that coughing away for a crowbat. Thin the deck just a little bit. We need... Oh, we didn't... Uh, we didn't get it. I was hoping to get something in the discard with an e-switch, but we did not get it. Shoot. Man, if they get an Elisa's Sparkle going, we are... Oh, well, they guaranteed it. We are going to be toast. Yep, there's the Elisa's Sparkle. So no matter what, we are not getting knocked out this turn, because even if they get all four in play with the choice belt that's 310. Yikes. 
Oh, and they power tablet. Oh, good. Whew. I thought they were going to do it. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that's as much as we got. Let's dread end. Dark patch. Okay, so we're actually going to be able to swing for a knockout with this Galerius Moltres V um, because we can attach to both, hand attach, and then e-switch from one to the other. Um, so that's fine. So they're, they'll go down to three, but we will also go down to three. Are they going to Serena up the other? Oh, really? Why would you do that? I mean, that's fine. We can still swing with this Galarian Moltres V, this one, because we do have a dark patch. And I'm just going to promote the Trubbish and Scoop Up Net it. So, I mean, that's fine. I didn't think they were going to go for the Galarian Moltres V. Echoing Horn? What are you echoing Horn? A coughing? Okay, cool. That's fine. That's more than fine. Oh, and you didn't even knock it out? Okay, so there's wheezing. Well, here's a predicament then. Uh, okay, so I'm going to quick ball that away for a crowbat. Dire flame wings. Hand attach. Retreat. Oh, I can't use more than one dire flame wings per turn. Okay, okay, that's fine. So we'll just do that. Crowbat. And, okay, we have boss. So dread end. There we go. Coughing. Quick ball. Ordinary rod. Okay, so we actually don't have the energy required. Because we can Dire Flame Wings once, but that is it. We're going to need a hand attachment, and we have no more Crobats. But we do have the boss in hand. So, like, okay, good. They Marnie us. We just need to get the boss back. So, but they still need six. Ooh, all energy. <laughs> Fantastic. So we can Dire Flame Wings and attach, and then Dark Patch to this, aw, to this Radiant Eternatus. Okay. So let's get some of these Crobats off the field. There we go. So they do play, pa oh, and they didn't even KO us. That's hilarious. Okay, Dark Patch. To this Radiant E turn. Yep, victory. <laughs> They're just whiffing the KOs. Okay, our next game is against Mine Seed. Alright, looks like we won, so let's go first. Hopefully, we can put down. We do have a ball search card to be able to put down. And we have research. Fantastic. So it looks like we play a Psychic deck. Even better. Okay. And we got a Scoop Up Net. Fantastic. Okay, so let's Quick Ball away. Uh, the Garboder. For Radiant Eternatus. Attach. And there we go. 
two Radiant Eternatus down, we will scoop up net the Radiant Eternatus, potentially Crobat, um, potentially e well, we can e-switch, research, everything's looking in our favor. So it looks like we are playing the Dragapult version of the Fusion Strike deck. I hate to lose one of our boss, because bossing up these Genesects are going to just accelerate our win condition even more, but let's e-switch onto this one. Let's switch. Uh, scoop up is fine. We will crowbat for three. We might as well not waste 30 extra damage. And do we have a... Oh, we don't, do we? One, two, three, four, five. So five is 150. Cro ah, this is 180. I am just going to do Dread End because if we can if we can get one more, yes, there we go. If we can get one more basic Pokemon, then I can boss's orders up the Genesect V. We were ten damage short. Oh, scoop! They scooped. There we go. There's the magic of Radiant Eternatus with Eternatus V Max. Okay, Wonder. Let's see what Wonder has in store for us today. Okay, so I start with Crobat, which is fine. I do have a research. Do we go sec? We do go second, so that's fantastic. That's fine. Hey, it is against Mew V. Mew V Max deck. Is this the Meloetta build, or is this just straight Mew VMAX? They Tails, the Chromatic. This is not the double turbo Mew. Lost City, Hand Attach. Um, why not? We, we don't want to waste a choice, but why not? All right, so let's do these two. And we can scoop up the Radiant Eternatus next turn. The only thing, oh, the only thing I should have done is Dire Flame Wings for the turn. That honestly is, is something I should have done. Lake Acuity? Do you play water or fighting energy? Like, what a useless... Oh, I mean, I guess you, that you have to play Fusion Strike energy. That's, like, that's the only thing. I would not mind an Ultra Ball, because if I get an Ultra Ball, I can Crobat. Or if I get a Quick Ball, I can Crobat. And Fog Crystal. So you are going to be able to attack with the Mew VMAX. For 210. Yep, because Technoblast is not in effect. Or the double turbo doesn't loosen it. Okay, fantastic. So let's Dire Flame Wings. Let's get the that out of the way. Let's Ultra Ball for Crobat. Okay, I'm going to need a hand attachment e-switch. Definitely an e-switch. Yes, there we go. Hand attachment. Dark Patch, E-Switch, 
Probat and Research. Galarian Weezing. Another dark patch, and we have both Radiant Eternatuses set up. So no more need for a scoop up net. Let's just trubbish. And honestly, let's O-Rod a couple of Pokemon back in play. There we go. Dread End for three prize cards. And are you going to scoop? You going to scoop or not? Beware of the Radiant Etern. Dude, what? Are you playing a Fire Litwick? What is this? I mean, I have, I don't have game in hand because their their Mew V is not a Mew V Max yet. But I could boss it up. All right, power tablet. I mean, if you had three in play, that's two ten. Even with all four power tablets. That is, well, 330 and a choice belt. So it was feasible, but you would need literally everything. All right, so let's wheezing, air balloon, and crobat. And hey, look, we got our second boss's orders. Dread End. Weakness for 500 damage. Alright. Attack me with whatever you want. You're gonna get the KO on the Radiant, on the Eternatus VMAX, but I am ready to swing with the one on my bench. Boss's orders? That's okay. I have a switch in hand. Also, you shut off your own abilities. Scoop! <laughs> uh, wrong Pokemon to pick. Our next game is against Adriano420. Hey, 420. Uh, Alright, so let's see what we got. We did win. Let's go first and see if we can pop off with our Radiant Eternatus. Uh, we did get a Ball Search card, which is fantastic, and a Dark Patch. All right, so let's get this Radiant Etern out of the way. And do we have our other two? We do. Oh, but we don't have our Radiant Eternatus. Uh, yikes. Okay. So let's grab Coughing. Uh, dark Patch to the Coughing. And we go for six. And Hand Attach. All right, so unfortunately, we also drew into one of our Eternatus VMAXs. So that's not good, but we do have someone playing Mantine from Sword and Shield base set. I've never seen this card before. Search your deck for up to three energies. Put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. So they're, f they're freebieing us the... Ascension ability without having us having to retreat or switch ourselves. So do they have a way of Melanie? Melanie for boss? Is that what they're hoping? Nope. Interesting. No. Okay, well, we're going to shut off any and all abilities they have, even though they don't have any now.
And I actually like just bossing them because, you know, they would have to attach to retreat. So even if they get out of poison, they're not going to use their wave splash this turn. Oh, do they have a switch? I mean, they have nine cards in hand. Uh-oh. Poke a kid. For Intellion V. And Pokemon Catcher. So they get the multiple heads. They can use their abilities now. But if they don't retreat or switch the Mantine, it is going to get KO'd because I'm not going to mess with it on my turn. So do you want the Galarian Moltres or do you want the Crobat V? Also, if we top deck an energy, then we can energy... Attach energy switch choice belt, and if they don't evolve this Intellion V, we can KO that. Hey! We might not even need to use the Tornadus V Max. Alright, Lost City! Do we get the Radiant E turn? No, we get Trubbish! They only get four cards, right? Yep, because poison KOs them between turns, not during the opponent's turn. Alright, wave splash for 60. Another coughing. Oh, why did I do that? I should have just attached it. What a waste of an e-switch. Alright, that's fine. 30 more damage to ourselves, that's fine. Radiant e-turn? Yeah, there we go, there we go. Now, we only have one more in our deck, so... I'm gonna have to need to wait for something to get KO'd. Well, I guess I could scoop up net this coughing to play it. I would just need another scoop up net. Ooh, they are going to KO us though. Yeah, it's not going to be this turn because I'm, I'm going to want to poison them with Neutralizing Gas. But then the next turn, I will use my Radiant E turn. Because KOing this Galarian Moltres V does free up a bench space, so I do want to start getting poison on them before I waste a turn not doing anything. Alright, they are going to take a KO on the Weezing, though, as well, because they will be able to do a lot of damage. So, let's Severe Poison. They are not going to be able to use their ability, however, they are going to be able to attach and do 140 damage.
I'm hoping that poison sticks, though, because if it sticks, then that's 80 coming into my turn. I do Radiant to turn it to so 120, and then coming back into my turn, they will only have 160 poison left, which is very in the range of being KO'd by my Radiant Eternatus, or by my Eternatus VMAX. So many Eternatus is in this deck. I'm going to have to send up my other coughing, though. So I'm losing two prizes to do this Eternatus play. Kingler, one of my favorite Pokemon. Love Kingler. Not more than a champ. But I love Kingler. Sheesh, they're using its claw. They're going to try and use its claw rend attack for three for 150. Not the best. Why? I mean, they. Uh oh, they misplayed. They hand attached to Kingler instead of. They're Intellion VMAX. That's hilarious. Alright, Eternatus VMAX. It's already poisoned. Or Radiant Eternatus. It was already poisoned, so no need to do that. They misplayed. Ooh, misplay. They needed to attack my Galarian Weezing. So anyways, we can attach Dark Patch, Scoop Up Net, the Radiant Etern, and KO them. That's This is an easy three prizes. I really doubt that they are going to retreat. Eh, who knows? They may retreat. But if they retreat, we're only we only need to do 200 damage to KO them. I say they don't retreat. <gasps> oh. Uh oh. I lose some money. <laughs> Heavy pincers for 40. All right, all right. Whoa, you're going to discard the top card of my deck? Alright, so let's attach Dark Patch. Severe Poison. I mean, I guess I could have scooped up the Radiant Turn now in hopes for a switch, but I got time. I got time, there's no worries here. I got this heavily damaged. I have one more boss left in the deck for an easy KO. And then this Kingler. Between the two of them, I got this. Rapid Strike and Tellian. Two for 70? I mean, you could hit it and then do your waterfall attack. Ooh, research. That was nasty. Crobat. Hmm. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Now, here's the thing. They probably want to attach to the Kingler and retreat. Because I'm doing so much junk to them. Yep. Well, that's okay. They can't attach... They can't, uh... Hit with the Intellion anymore. And they literally will have no energy in play once I scoop up and KO this Intellion with my Eternatus VMAX. Alright, Quick Ball for the Radiant E-Turn. Galarian Moltres. Best not to lose this energy when I scoop up net this Weezing. Bench it again, and Dread Zone. So now that our opponent has two heavily damaged Pokemon and no energy in play. 
Thank you, Galarian Weezing, for putting in all the work. Whoa, what are you gonna do? All right, let's die our flame wings. Let's get that lost city out of there for our last crowbat. Ah, we didn't draw into the boss. That is the pits. Ah, oh, well. Dread end. Air balloon. All right, your dreadna. I assume, is coming up. Yep. Scoop! Alright folks, here's the deck list once again, and I really, really hope that you guys loved this deck list. I liked playing it just as much as I did my expanded. It's just very intricate trying to you know, play the Radiant Etern, uh, get a scoop up net, and it's very, it, like, it, it makes it of a challenge, and I love it. So, uh, hopefully you guys liked it as well. Um, and man, I really, really hope that you guys view my other videos. I will put the link in the description to my other Eternatus video, the expanded version, in the video below. Hopefully you guys want to check that out. And honestly, I very, very appreciate any of those who of you who view or to subscribe to my channel or watch me on Twitch. I do stream every uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday nights uh, starting at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. So I know that is very, very late, but I usually stream for about two and a half to three hours, and uh, hopefully you guys want to check that out as well. So again, if you want to view it, please, please subscribe and follow, and you guys, you're amazing. Have a nice day.